Hi and welcome. Uh, this video will be about how to alter uh, some uh, Joomla files to, for example, add a uh, specific uh, functionality to our site. So I have here uh, the default website and uh, I want to add the registration uh, module and uh, also when uh, we create a new user we want more fields uh, than what uh, is available in the uh, default uh, form let me show you what i am talking about so let's go to the administration area administrator i will of course log in admin and the password yes remember doesn't matter uh, module manager and uh, i will add a new module okay let's uh, log in then next and i will call it just login its position will be in the left and that's fine i will take the default configuration options okay now we have our login let's see it in the front end of the website so there it is we have uh, where we log in and we have here uh, this option to create an account so what we want to do is add some fields to this uh, default uh, form and to do that we are going to alter some of the uh, Joomla files so let's go to where I have uh, one installation test and the first file is in the libraries then to Joomla uh, database file then the user so I need to add to modify this file this file basically it's uh, a class that uh, represents the user table and uh, we want to also uh, change and add some fields to that table so let's go to local host php my admin so i need to go to the database you test and here look for the users table so I will add to it two, two fields after the uh, params uh, field which is here go so the first field is just phone and the second is fax varsha give it 20 ok doesn't matter because we say so now we have uh, our fields in the table let's change the the file itself so there is the file and we need to go uh, after the params and I will add two variable which will represent the fields we added to the table because each variable in here is uh, tied to a field in the database so I will call it just phone and it's null then again this one is uh, what we did call it fax okay so let me save that with the control s and now the other file so it's in the component and the com user the user component in the uh, views and register then the template and here we take the uh, default file so let's open it and here i will add the uh, field okay the after the email so i take this control c and here control c uh, two twice okay then we have this it's not email message anymore it's just phone uh, message it's for phone phone okay and the text field is phone name is phone and the from the type we need to grab the phone field okay input require and uh, it's required but it's not a validate email okay and just we need the required uh, class okay that's for the first uh, field the second one is fax okay so fax Here, fax. Here, 
Holy fuck. Input is required, but it's not validate email. It doesn't belong to that class. Okay, that's uh, we have done our work here. Control S to uh, save, and now we are going to change another uh, uh, file, which is in uh, com users. Uh, it's in uh, views, but it's not in here. It's in user and template. And then we are going to change the uh, form itself. Uh, uh, I need to go down before the uh, password. And after the email, I will grab this control uh, C, V, control V twice. And here I will do the following uh, it's phone. And again, here it's phone email it's not email it's phone mm -hmm. basically you don't write any code you just copy and paste and this is fax fax input text is for the fax email no more that's fax <laughs> then again fax file oh. Okay, let's save this. And the last file is in the administration area. So we go to administrator, then component, then we look for com user. We must be at the bottom. Sorry, com users. Then uh, views, uh, user, template. And we have, we should ch change this uh, file here. So again, we go all down, all way down, and look for the email. There it is, and grab this. It's very simple, really. And again, change this to phone. This to phone. This to phone. Okay, that's for the phone now. Let's go fax. Fax. And I believe that's all we need uh, to do. So now let's test our work. So we have changed four uh, uh, files. Now let's go here and see what we have so far. So let me click create account. And there we go. We have our phone and we have our fax. This is just for the uh, Firefox. It has remembered the password again. So that's better. Let's now uh, test this and create a new user. Uh, me, Hakim. Username, Hakim. Email, Hakim. Email.com. So if someone wants to contact me, but this is not my real <laughs> phone number. It's. Uh, Okay, password. We have the password, the password again. Register. Cool dash. Okay, that's because I don't have a tap, uh, I don't have an SMTP server. Okay, but the c the account has been created. Let's go to the administration site and go to user. Ah, I know I have uh, lost this session. So let's. Login again. And go to user manager. And here we have hacking. It's not enabled. So let me click that. And there we go. We have our phone and we have our fax. So that uh, worked perfectly. Thank you.